the next topic is application services after installation of informatica after completion of this core services in administration part the first thing is application services in application services in real time first we have to create repository service on top of that integration service so repository service contain their own repository database each and every repository contain their own repository database so repository database we are using to store that metadata information user related privileges and group related privileges importing the sources target connections mappings sessions every metadata information we are storing in the repository database after that we are creating integration services so repository services basically we are using for any type of database but for web and sap related we are using sap bw services for for web related http related sources we are using web services hub for other databases we are using repository services for each and every repository we are creating integration service so integration service is the mediator between the client tools and repository database so in the next architecture we can see how we are working with the application services we can see so this is the architecture so these are the client tools repository manager designer workflow manager and finally is the workflow monitor okay this is the client tools client part in informatica this is the admin part in informatica in the domain we create a repository and integration service each and every repository contain their own repository database so see here first uh, while creation of the mappings and everything we are loading metadata into the repository database after creation of the flow we are sending request to the integration service for execution again integration service is sending the request to the repository database so if the client request is a authorized request then the repository database sending the response to the integration service so based on that integration service it will read the data from the sources then it will execute based on the requirement finally it will load the data into the target tables so this is a complete process explaining again so these are the client tools okay this is the administration part repository integration and repository database and sources and targets okay first metadata is storing in the database then sending execution request to the integration service from integration service to repository database from there we are we are getting some instructions reading the sources then executing loading so this is the process we are following so integration service have their own reader threads and loader threads so based on that it will read the data and it will load the data into the targets so in this example we are using integration service so we are working with uh, millions records of data in the real time 
so you are executing one flow and other people also executing one flow then sometimes the integration services will be seen so at that time you can we they will create in the real time multiple integration services on the same repository if one integration service is busy we can use other integration service uh, which is related to same repository to execute that process okay so see here uh, on node 1 we created one repository this repository contain multiple integration services so we can use uh, i1 i2 i3 okay. so this is the architecture part of the application services core services and application services so each and every node contain their own core services and application services so then we can start the client part thank you